Having credit cards is like a necessity in your life. You've heard of food, water, shelter, but why does no one talk about credit cards in that conversation? We live in a day and age where plastic is everywhere. It's in our electronics, in our packaging, in our favorite celebrities, and in our wallets. Well, unless you're extra special and you have a metal credit card. Maybe you have one credit card or no credit card in your life right now, and that's okay. But I know for sure that you're probably aiming to become, you know, a better human being and have multiple cards in your arsenal. But adding and keeping track of multiple credit cards at the same time is kind of a hassle. That's where the Max Rewards app comes in. How's it everyone? I'm Chase Yokoyama and welcome back to the channel where we make finance fun. You may have heard already about the Max Rewards app before, but in this video, I'll be going over an in-depth review on it and also my honest personal opinions on this app. Primarily, Max Rewards is an app or tool that helps maximize rewards on your credit cards. And that just means more money or more savings, more rewards for you. And who doesn't like that? To me, it's more of like a credit card organizer or a credit card consolidator, which saves me a lot of time and it's such a convenience to have. That's enough talking, so let's go ahead and dive right into the app. First off, we're gonna go ahead and open up the app. Beautiful, and this is gonna be like our home screen or main page. As you can see at the top, it summarizes my total rewards balance, which is basically the monetary or dollar amount of all my credit card points. It also totals my credit card balance, my credit utilization, and also my available credit amongst all of my credit cards. And like I always mention in this channel, it's good to have a credit utilization under 30% if you want to have an okay credit score. But if you want to be extra and do the most, you want to keep that credit utilization under 10%. Mine is under 5% right now low-key flex just keep that credit utilization low guys right underneath that little summary you can see all of my upcoming credit card bills so right now i just have the apple card bill coming up that's due on wednesday december 1st and you can see how much is due so it's 49 dollars. you can also see that my auto pay is on so i won't actually have to worry about paying this bill and this is really helpful because I know right now I only have my Apple card bill coming up, but when I have multiple bills due, it's helpful to see it all in one place and to kind of plan it out or see when each one is due and for how much. It's nice to have it all consolidated like that. And you'll kind of see how this is a common theme throughout the app on how it consolidates like all of your credit cards into one app and it makes it super easy. So I'm gonna keep talking about that <laughs> throughout this video because that's truly something that I value and I really enjoy about using this. In order to usually view your bills, your credit card statements, you're going to have to log into every different app separately or, you know, go on your browser and open up a different tabs and sign into each and every credit card account that you have. Whereas over here, it's again, in one spot, you can just view all your bills at one time. I know I don't have an example for my account personally right now, but I'll pull an example from the internet, but you can actually track your sign up bonus and your progress towards that with Max Rewards. This app really makes it easy for you to track your minimum spend requirement and to make sure that you actually hit your bonus. Because as you know, if you're watching this video, if you watch this channel, we all hit our sign up bonuses. So if you have this app, you really have no excuse as to missing it because you'll know exactly how much more you have to spend on that credit card in order to get that sign up bonus. And again, if you're working towards multiple credit card sign up bonuses, it will show up here and you can track all of them in one spot. Moving on, you just have your normal list of all your credit cards that you have linked up to your account. Nothing too special here, but it just really consolidates it all in one. You can see the balance on each credit card, the utilization on each card, and also the rewards or the points that you have for each card. But if you actually click on one of your credit cards, you can see more information about it. The first page right here is just your generic information, also the transactions linked to that credit card. But if you click to the right, this tab up here, the info tab, you get a little bit more detail on that credit card specifically. And you can see the reward multipliers for this credit card. On top of that, it also shows your rates and fees for this card as well. Actually, I forgot one thing. If you go back to the activity tab and you scroll down past the transactions, you actually see all the offers for that credit card and then also all the benefits for that credit card. And this is huge because at least for the benefits and like the reward multiplier, I actually had like a notes app or like a note in the notes app to keep track of all that. And it got kind of complicated to have to keep updating all my credit cards and you know, making sure that I'm adding the right benefit, taking off the right benefit. And it just, you know, again, was a hassle to use, especially if you had a card like the Amex Platinum card where they literally like switched up the benefits a whole bunch in this past year. 
I will talk more about the benefits feature later on in this video, but for now, just know that I find it very helpful. On top of actually tracking which benefits your card has, Max Rewards actually allows you to mark it as active and will track to make sure that you use it that month. So no longer do you have to make like a reminder or a task or just remember to use this Uber Eats or dining credit for your Amex Gold card because Max Rewards will actually track it for you. It really can't get any easier than that. If you have an Amex Gold card or Amex Platinum card, it's especially useful for all those Uber Eats dining credits that you have to use each month. I will say though real quickly like the first little con or the first little hiccup with max rewards is that for the platinum card it is missing a few benefits like I believe the Saks Fifth Avenue one is missing if I remember correctly I you know I scrolled through tried to find it and some of the annual credits are actually funky too like not the uber ones or the dining credit because that's like monthly but some of the annual credits are a little bit weird to use and it's not the same as the monthly ones but I know that max rewards is going to fix that or you know update it soon. Going back to the main page here, the last thing that we have at the very bottom is going to be your credit scores. And it's going to pull in the credit score from your bank or your credit card company that you have linked up to your account. But just beware that these are not like your actual or accurate FICO credit score scores. But we're going to go ahead and move over to the next tab, which is going to be the activity tab. And this first page on the activity tab is, you know, nothing special, nothing too crazy. It's just a transactions list of all, you know, all your credit card transactions in one spot. Again, could be helpful because it's nice to see all of your recent transactions in one spot. But to me, nothing too special. But if you go over to this summary tab or summary page up here, this is where it gets a little bit cooler. You can see now we have beautiful charts showing you how much you spend each month or each week or each year, but also on the bottom, how much rewards you earned in each month, each week or each year. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can actually see the categories that you earned those rewards in. And if you tap on it, it just gives you a more detailed analysis or detailed list of all the transactions that pertain to that search and reward category. So this is really cool to help give you an idea of where your rewards are coming from, where you can spend more to earn more rewards. It's just a really nice feature to have. Moving on to the next section or tab is gonna be the best card to use tab. This nearby tab will actually pull up a list of all the nearby merchants, you know, restaurants, stores, etc., that are around you and also will recommend which credit card to use at each store. Obviously, I'm not gonna use my home address for this. I mean, I love you guys. I wanna see you guys in person, but just not outside of my house. So just to give you an example, I'm gonna actually search up all of them on the center and you can see that list that populates there. Or you can use the map function and actually drag around on the map where you want to go. If you move over to the category page, this is something that I would actually use. And as you can see here, it has a list of different categories and also which credit card to use for each category. As you can see here, I have a nice list here, but it's just my favorites. And you can actually add more favorites to this list as I scroll through right now. But if you do click on one of the categories, let's say dining, for example, you can see all the lists of credit cards that I have and their point multipliers for the dining category. So the last tab here is gonna be the benefits and offers tab. And this is where things actually start to get really exciting and wild. First of all, this is a paid feature. So you have to have the gold version of Max Rewards in order to use this benefits and offers tab. And it is like a monthly or annual subscription that you pay and you will get access to this function or this feature. But if you use my referral link down below in the description or use the code Chase Yokoyama, when you're signing up or creating an account on the Max Rewards app, you will actually get a month free of gold. So you can go ahead and try it out for yourself. This is a great opportunity for you to get your hands on this paid version and to kind of see if it's right for you and if you want to actually pay for this service or feature. As you scroll down, you'll see a list of all the available offers that you have for any and all of your credit cards. This is your Chase offer your Amex offers, like your Discover offers, whatever credit card you have that has offers for it, it will show up in this list. And as you can see here, there's around like 400, a little over 400 available for all my credit cards right now. And not only does Max Rewards list out all the offers you have, it will actually automatically add them to your credit card account. And that is such a time saver. So that's why Max Rewards literally saves you a lot of time and you know it's so convenient to automatically add all those offers to your credit cards. So that way you'll never miss an offer. And if you add all the offers to your credit card, you're just gonna maximize the rewards that you'll get. Sorry, that was cliche, but it really does help. 
On top of that, Max Rewards will actually also automatically add those quarterly offers or those quarterly categories for those credit cards that apply to it. For example, the Chase Freedom Flex card has rotating categories every quarter. So Max Rewards will actually activate it every quarter that comes. And if you check in the top right hand corner, it actually summarizes or totals the amount of money that you saved using offers. So I saved around $51 on Hilton and Starbucks. And to make things better, there's still that benefits tab at the top where you can actually see all the benefits that you have for every single credit card you have linked up. Like I mentioned earlier, this could be optimized a little bit more, a little bit better, but I'm sure that will come in time. But for what it is right now, it is still extremely helpful and you can see all your benefits in one spot. It's all consolidated. It's all right there for you to look at and take advantage of. And real quickly, here are a list of other cool things that you can get with the Max Rewards Gold subscription. And I chose this app icon, like this white background with this blue for that, you know, nice, simple, clean look, make me feel good about myself. Oh, one last thing that Max Rewards actually provides for you is going to be the card share page. It's like the referral page for all your credit cards. So in your profile tab, all the way in the bottom right, there's this card share page and you can activate it and you can actually share all your different credit cards and the referral links or referral codes to your friends, your family, to strangers, it doesn't matter, all in one page. Okay, so that is a very brief, basic overview of the Max Rewards app and pretty much everything that has to offer. Is it worth it? Is it right for you? First off, this app is free. So I would highly recommend for pretty much all of you to try out the free version at least and to see if it's right for you. Because personally, I think everyone can make use of that free version of the app. You could always try it out, sync up your accounts, and if you don't like it, just delete your account and delete the app from your phone. But for the gold version, the paid version, I don't think everyone watching this video is going to make use of it. The gold version of this app is really meant for those people who have multiple credit cards, like maybe three credit cards or more. But if you have like one or two credit cards and one of them is the Amex Platinum card, then maybe you might consider getting the gold version because that card has literally so many damn offers and benefits and rewards that come with it. You also make great use of the gold version of this app if you're really into you know maximizing your rewards trying to add every single offer take advantage of every single benefit because again it just is all in one place it's so conveniently laid in front of you and it just makes it that much easier for you to use and keep track of again don't take my word for it though go ahead and try it for yourself try the free version or if you want to try the gold version just use my link in the description box below or the referral code chase yokoyama and you'll get one month free of gold as a matter of fact after you create your account you'll actually get your own referral code. And with that referral code, you can send it to your friends, family, you know, other strangers on the internet too. And each of you will get a free month of gold. If you have ever tried Max Rewards before, go ahead and let me know how was your experience. Was it super pleasant? Did you have a bad experience with them? Let me know. If you do decide to try Max Rewards after watching this video, please let me know how you like it because I'm super curious to see your experience too as like a brand new user. Let me know if this video was helpful and if you want to see more just like this, please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe down below because it really, really does help out our channel and I really do appreciate it. Before you go though, here are some other videos that you might find helpful that I would recommend watching. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Shoots!